In this segment, we'll explore the packing capabilities of Packer I.O. to understand how they function for achieving optimal results. Once the unwrapped object is imported, a packing widget appears in the viewport. Depending on your accessibility preferences, you can adjust its position closer to the object for convenience. You can also minimize and dock it to the sidebar using the dock icon. The first button selects the UV packing method. The second button in the dropdown, labeled Keep, simply reuses existing UVs. This is crucial for merging and combining UV sets, as we'll discuss in the next tutorial. By long pressing the context menu buttons, you can select the source channel from which UVs will be packed and the target channel where the packed UVs will be stored. The UV channel workflow will be explained in detail in the next tutorial. For this demonstration, we'll use UV channel 0 as the source and UV channel 1 as the output to examine the settings and parameter changes. Pressing the pack button will generate the first UV pack using the default values. These defaults generally strike a perfect balance between speed and quality, but there are extra options available to fine-tune the results based on the input material. In addition to the default efficient packing, there's also a high-quality option. While this mode is more computationally intensive and slower, it's specifically designed to maximize texture area utilization. Users can expect a noticeable improvement in texture area utilization, often achieving a few extra percentage points compared to the efficient mode. High quality packing shines when mixing large and small UV islands, strategically placing smaller ones to optimize layout by utilizing gaps in larger islands. However, it's less effective with few islands or uniform scaling, where its complexity may not yield significant improvements. The rotation long press button allows you to add extra rotation angles for charts to better fit within the map, overriding initial orientations set by the pre-rotate option. Let's take a moment to explain the concept of rotation angles for UV islands in Packer IO. Imagine you have a UV island and a specific free UV space where it needs to be packed. Sometimes, the original orientation doesn't fit perfectly. The default setting in Packer I.O. tries rotating the island in two steps, 90 and 180 degrees, to see if it can fit into the irregular empty space. Often, this approach is both quick and effective. However, in cases where the UV island shapes and the wasted areas are very irregular, Subtle rotation steps can be crucial. These additional adjustments may help snap the UV islands into place more precisely. If we half the angle to 45 degrees, can have four extra steps in the hope it finds the optimal space. 23 degrees gives us eight extra rotation steps, which may hit in the available empty space. Consider that more rotation steps cause longer calculation times. Steps lower than 23 degree has been proven after long research as too calculation intensive without much effect. Packer IO assumes always that if it can't find the best position in its smallest orientation step of 23 degrees, the likelihood to find it in smaller angles is too small and too calculation consuming. Each of those rotation step settings will perform rotation steps until it reaches 180 degree. An additional feature in Packer IO called Full rotation extends the rotation steps to cover the full 360 degrees. This setting ensures that every possible orientation is considered to find the optimal placement for the UV island. UV tiling, also known as UDIM in UV mapping, involves repeating a texture across a 3D model's surface. This technique is widely used in various fields like video game design and architectural visualization to create detailed surfaces without excessively high-resolution textures which constrain system resources. To apply UV tiling in Packer IO, click on the Tile UVs button to activate the feature and open the Tile UV widget. Use the interactive interface of the widget to designate the grid layout for your UV tiles. For precise control, manually input specific values in the spinner below the UV grid display. Choose the subdivision that suits your project requirements to efficiently organize your UVs. Finally, 
packing UVs will arrange them into the specified tiled format. Texture size serves as a reference for determining padding distance and rendering the preview. Artists define their UV space using sizes like 512, 1024, 2048 pixels, often referred to as 1K, 2K, etc. Padding specifies the distance between charts within the texture. Packer I.O. employs sophisticated padding calculations, enabling artists to pack UV shells with zero distance without overlapping or errors. The pre-rotate feature optimally rotates each chart before packing. Disabling pre-rotate and setting rotation angle to 180 prevents Packer I.O. from rotating UV shells during the packing process. The combine switcher is crucial for determining the UV packing approach when applying Packer I.O. to multiple objects simultaneously. Activating combine treats the UV charts of all selected objects as a unified set, packing them together into the same UV space. This is beneficial for projects requiring texture uniformity across multiple objects or aiming to minimize the number of texture maps used. Disabling Combine is advantageous when objects need separate textures or specific UV layouts, such as varying detail levels or different shading treatments. Substance Painter users often disable it to get multiple UV sets in one UV channel. The Rescale UV Charts option adjusts individual UV chart scales based on their mesh surface area, promoting more uniform pixel distribution across the mesh. If disabled, all charts retain their original sizes post-packing. If rotation angles are set to 180 degree and both pre-rotate and rescale are toggled off, Packer I.O. will not apply any transformations to the UV shells, but will attempt to pack them in their original rotation and size conditions. In the next tutorial, we will delve into the topic of UV channels and how to utilize them optimally for an efficient workflow. Thank you for watching. Download the free Packer IO app from uvpacker.com and explore more tutorials covering the features and workflow of Packer IO. See you next time.